Now at 530, the Multnomah County Commissioners took in the first round of public testimony on the controversial subject of vaping and e-cigarettes. Commissioners heard from retailers, social activists, moms and dads, and students. Fox 12's Marilyn Deutsch was there for today's testimony. Multnomah County Commissioners are considering a possible ban on flavored vaping products and also flavored tobacco products, including menthol cigarettes. The real concern is kids and how fast vaping has spread among millennials, especially now that the CDC reports that 39 people have died and more than 2,000 have gotten sick from a severe lung condition related to vaping. Some of those illnesses have been linked to vitamin E acetate. However, the CDC says it is still researching the exact cause of these illnesses. Meantime, local, state, and national legislators are calling for new regulations and restrictions. Multnomah County commissioners heard from health officials last week about a possible ban. Now they're listening to folks in the community, including Mount Tabor Middle School student Arenze McGee. It is disturbing how often I smell and observe my peers jeweling and smoking cigarettes. I am also asthmatic and sometimes it can be difficult for me to breathe. I'm learning that the products are flavored and designed to deceive and attract youth. Sadly, these kids just think it's just too cool. Meantime, vape shop owners and distributors told commissioners today they have no problem limiting access to flavored cigarettes to people under 21. But they don't think a ban for adults is fair, especially since commissioners are also considering a possible ban on menthol cigarettes. It would hurt their business, and they say it would make the matter worse. Historically, bans of this nature have simply failed. They've created a black market. So now, you, instead of legitimate retailers who can be held accountable, you have criminals selling the products who have no incentive to pay taxes. The state excise taxes are a large source of revenue to the state or to check ID. There will be one more hearing where you can give testimony. That will be in Gresham next month. If you can't make it to that hearing, you can always provide your testimony online. And on KPGV.com, we have a link where you can do that. In Southeast Portland, Marilyn Deutsch, Fox 12, Oregon.